Okay, uh, my name is Roxanne Schrader. I am a lecturer at Humboldt State University in the Department of Biology, where I teach the introductory biology for majors. I uh, also do teach a grant writing class in another department, but I have not used the OER in that class, at least not yet. I have been using the OpenStax biology textbook. Um, a few years ago, I switched from the, the hardcover book, and I've, the first I tried the Nature's Principles of Biology book, which I loved because it had lots of bells and whistles and fancy things in it, but I found that there were so many fancy things in it that it missed some of the basics that my students really needed to have. So I switched to the OpenStax book, and it has all the background material that my students need, as well as just enough bells and whistles to keep them excited and interested in the topic. Well, a few years ago, I started getting lots of information being sent to me via email um, or other talking to other people who were interested in these open access materials. Um, also, at about the same time, I asked all my students on the final exam an extra credit question, which was, are you gonna keep your textbook? Because I was really hoping that they were gonna keep their textbook as a resource for future semesters. And I was just heartbroken to hear students writing to me, um, I didn't buy the textbook, I borrowed it from my friend, um, or I have to sell it so that I can buy food over the summer and so they weren't keeping their textbooks they were not using it as a resource so i felt really bad asking them to spend two hundred dollars on a textbook that they were not going to keep and not going to be using in the future so i started looking to see what other options there were out there and um, like i said when i started finding out that there were things that were free um, i started looking at some of them and the OpenStax really turned out to be something that I think is really good and that my students seem to enjoy as well and get the material that they need out of that book. Yeah, this is the syllabus that I'm using this semester. Um, this is again the class Principles of Biology. It's the introductory biology class for uh, biology majors focusing on um, sort of the cell molecular chemistry portions of biology. And in the syllabus in the region where I have all my required texts and readings, um, I just have this little bit of text right here that's telling my students that we're going to be using the OpenStax biology textbook, um, which is available for free at the link that I give them here on the syllabus. Um, this is also posted on our LMS. And I also tell them that the bookstore will sell them a paperback copy of this book for about $50. So they have the option of getting it for free online where they can read it online or they can um, download the PDF and read it as a PDF. Or if they really don't like that, they can get um, a hard copy of the book available from the bookstore. It's about $50 instead of um, you know, about $200 for the book we had been using in the past. Um, in addition, because it's so much less expensive, I have added the sapling homework package, um, which is about $40. And that's one of a number of different options that come with the op OpenStax College books. Um, they have partnered with lots of groups, so you have lots of options. You don't have to use sapling. You don't have to use anything. You can use a number of other things that I'll show you when we look at the, uh, at the book on, online. Yeah, so the OpenStax uh, textbooks are available from this, um, this website, openstaxcollege.org. And when you get there, you have this general page where you can sign in. I'm actually already signed in. Um, but once you sign in, there's a lot of options. I'll just come up very briefly at the top with supplemental resources 
resources that make this really easy for the instructor to use. And so they have things like a getting started guide for students, um, lots of learning resources that students get to use. Um, and I have to admit that every time I come back and look at this page, you know, once or twice a semester, I see new things. So there's a lot of people that are interested in this. I've, I've gone with sapling learning is something that I ask my students to use and I can certainly show you saplings uh, website a little bit later, but they create a homework uh, set that you can assign for your students. Um, what I like about it is they have somebody they call their tech TA uh, who puts it all together for you and you just have to make it go and then if you have a question or if your students have questions you talk to that person and they solve your problems really quickly um, it's also only forty dollars so between the free book and forty dollars for this homework it's not much money um, but there are other options as you can see here and if we go way down there's a bunch of stuff for faculty so for instance when you used to get the when I used to get the big textbook they would send uh, DVDs with all kinds of information. Now it's all here on the web. So there's a, a getting started guide for faculty to help you learn how to start using it. Um, there are PowerPoint slides. So if you want to take some figures that are in this textbook and show them in your lecture, you can. Um, they have you know, their test bank, like everybody else has a text bank. Um, in fact, they have sample syllabus language in order for you to tell the students how to access the book, which was really nice. And so again, like I said, every time I come and look, if I go down, there's more and more things that have been added. So there's a lot of resources there. So if you go to the book, um, again, you can look at the book online or you can look at it from uh, a, P, you know, a PDF that you downloaded. When you look at it online, you can um, hopefully look at the contents. There we go. Um, and the, there are a whole bunch of different units. In fact, this is a book that would be great for like a two or three semester course. There's a lot I don't use. Um, we talk about uh, the, the chemistry of life, cells, genetics, evolution. Um, there is a whole bunch about biological diversity, plants, animals, ecology that I never ever get to. Um, when you get into one of these units, there will be a, a number of different chapters. So I'm gonna skip over to biological macromolecules because I like those. And then you can also get into the different sections so the students can go and say, oh, right, we have to know about lipids today. Click on this, and it will bring up for them the section of the chapter about lipids. Nice. Um, and then let's see if I can find quickly the um, – there are periodically some very nice – questions of course it's not going to be yeah there you go there are there are these links to learning okay so oh, no. they can take their smartphone and take a picture of this and it will take them out if they don't have the smartphone they can just click on these links and it will take them out to resources on the web um, sometimes it is uh, a video sometimes it's a worksheet sometimes it's just a website that somebody else has created that gives them more information about this topic there's lots of good text, text um, pictures. There's um, review questions at the end. So there's a, always a glossary at the end of the textbook. Um, it, there's just so much information, and it's, I have found it to be well organized so that the students can move through this one, one little step at a time. Um, basically, what I have in Moodle is I have a link here. So this has actually got a link to the textbook. So that would take you to the link we just looked at before so that the students can sign in. Um, I also have a, a link to the sapling learning homework, which um, again, the sapling I really like because it's not terribly expensive. Since I've been using sapling, I find that my students Average grades on every exam have gone up 10 points because they actually work with the material. One thing that's really neat about sampling, and here's 
this, it's at saplinglearning.com when I log in here, um, is they have the questions that they ask the students as their homeworks. I'll just go into one of the early um, assignments that my students have already done this semester. Um, I get lots of information that they don't have, but let's say we look at a question that they have asked. So here's a question where um, it's asking them to classify information on the basics, basis of whether the conclusion is scientific, scientific or subjective. So they get to just take things and drag and drop. I'm just going to drag and drop in, in a random order. Hopefully I'll get things all completely wrong. Um, and then they can ask for um, wh whether their answer was correct. And if they've done this several times and they can't figure out the correct answer, they can up and view the solution if they want to. But one of the other things that's really nice that the students get is if they are completely confused and they don't want to give up, there's a link where they can get more information. And Sapling has partnered with OpenStax, so when they click that link to get more information, it will take them to the page in the OpenStax textbook that answers that question for them. Ooh. So that was one of the reasons I was really excited about it and chose sampling versus one of those other many choices that were there. So the students are saving about $160 just in my class. Um, previously, the textbook that they were that we were using with everything they bundled with it was about two hundred dollars, and now with the free textbook and forty dollars for sampling, they're saving about one hundred and sixty dollars. And um, yes, they can't sell it back at the end of the semester. But um, I was also learning from my students that they would sell the book at the end of the semester, and they would maybe get forty dollars for it. So, in the long run, I think they're saving quite a bit of money. Occasionally, there are students who are still saying, I can't stand reading on a computer screen. I really want something hard copies. And whenever that has come up in lecture, it's been really amazing because there's always been another student who raises their hand and says, wait, wait, I bought the book at the bookstore. It's really easy. Um, so they obviously think it's been very useful for them. <laughs> 